All right, guys, uh, this is a really special treat for all of us. Nothing is more loved by families across America than uh, horse shows. They're really, really spectacular, very beautiful. Now the Gala of Royal Horses is touring the USA for the very, very first time. We have them in the studio. Uh, I'm sure we'll be speaking to them soon. Uh, I'm very excited about this. Yeah, okay. yeah so are we. We are I'm super excited. excited. No. My co-hosts are here off camera. Anyway, let's uh, welcome uh, Renee Gasser in the studio. Yeah. And this is the, uh, the Gala of Royal Horses. DBZ version, so yeah, I'll let yeah, them take it away. Come on in, guys. Okay. Oh, huh? Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you so much uh, for being here. Uh, this is a beautiful creature you're on here. Absolutely, and that's his first time in a television studio too. I'm very impressed. I think it's the first He's time we've ever amazing. had a, a horse <laughs> in the studio here. Uh, this is touring uh, all over the U.S. for the first time? Correct. First time U.S., Canada, and South America. And how long have you been doing this? Well, I've been doing it all my life. Yeah. I come from seven generations of horse trainers and performers, so... And, and wh what kind of discipline? You, had, you have a bunch of different breeds of horses for the yes, show? Yes, we've got... Uh, here, Quintero is an Andalusian. Okay. So we've got Andalusians, we've got Lepizanas, we've got Frisian horses, beautiful Arabian horses. So it's a variety of all the royal horses of Europe. How difficult is it to, to train these, these creatures to perform these acts uh, in conjunction with all that goes on in the show? Well, that, that's exactly right, you know. It's one thing to practice in, in your home sure. yard and then to come to situations like that in front yeah. of an audience and lights and music. So it takes a special animal. And he's just proven himself really well. Uh, how old is he? <laughs> Quintero is eight years old. Oh, wow. And we wow. bought him from Spain. That he is... came over from Andalusia. Uh, as a touring show, how difficult are the logistics? And because this setup here, I mean, you would not believe just what it took this morning to do this show. How difficult is it to move such a massive event like this? We're pretty organized. We've got our own transport. Um, we keep them pretty much in control the whole time. The safety is always first of the horses. Of course, of course. And how many people do you tour with? We tour with 30 people and 15 horses. Wow, wow. So what was the inspiration? You said you've done this all your life. What yes. was the draw for you? Um, just performing with these magnificent animals, which you can only usually see in Europe, right. to take it all over the world, the appreciation of the horse audience is amazing. I, I have to say, yo, come on. Because we're hearing yeah. an accent, but yes. where are you guys based out of? Um, we actually, this show actually comes from Australia. Okay. But we're from all over the world. Now, where are you from? Switzerland. Switzerland. Very nice. Wow. Correct. Very nice. So how do you get everyone from all over the world into one place? Yeah, it's, it's the horse industry, like any industry, is a small industry. So we get together. We, um, I flew with my family for five years. We were looking for horses from all over the world to bring them in. How long will a horse uh, typically be a part of a, a show? Years, months? Okay. Our horses, we start them about three years old. Okay. And then they keep going to they retire. They can go anywhere from three to 30 years. Are they bred specifically for this type of show? Andalusians are bred mostly for uh, performing, bullfighting. They used to be for the royal families because that's wow. why they're so elegant and, and right. beautiful. So they used to be their horses. 
So is that how the name the Royal Gale of Horses came about? Correct. Oh, okay. Correct. Well, yes. It's all coming together now. Yeah, no, this is absolutely beautiful. And so you said you have multiple breeds. Correct. Oh, this is fantastic. Is this one of the larger breeds? I've been, I've been around horses yeah, a little. He's a, he's a fairly large horse. Growing, yeah. growing up in the but, south, I was around horses a little bit, but this is a very large animal. He's a big boy. I but would like we've to got the Frisian horses, which are even bigger than him. Yeah, black and beautiful minds, you know. Well, let's talk about this show. We've only got about a minute left. Let's talk about the show. What can people expect to see? And then uh, where are you headed to start off on this tour? Okay. Well, we start in, K in Kissimmee. Okay. Orlando. Then yeah. we go to Jacksonville. And then we move right over to Texas. Okay. Oh, there you go. And the Mike microphone there. just moves. <laughs> and so it's not just horses because we saw like a flamenco dancer. Right. We've got a Correct. guitar player here. So Correct. Kind of everything. It's, it's the costume. It's the music. It's the tradition of the horse. Yeah. You know, we, we kind of bring people into time and with horses. That's our goal. And you guys have a website or anything people can go for more Absolutely. information? Absolutely. Gala of the Royal Horses. Gala of the Royal Gala Horses. Of the Royal there it is on the bottom of your uh, screen. Yep. Uh, you really should check this out. You should go to their it's website. It's very impressive. It's very beautiful. Lots of great video, beautiful pictures. Uh, and this is very impressive. Renee, thank you so much for bringing us here. Thank you. Appreciate you uh, coming Thank you in. so thank much. You. Wow. What's his name, I'm by impressed. the way? Quintero. Quintero. Ah. Uh, thank you so much thank for being you. here. All right, guys, stick Excellent. around. DBZ, we'll be right back.